is a little different. That is because I have moved. I just filmed a lot of videos while I was still living with my parents and I'm just trying to get them all uploaded. So you will see a lot of videos at my parents' house and then just periodically you'll see some videos from here. Like today, I just felt like this was an urgent video and I wanted to upload it, but I need to fix this camera angle first. Okay. Um, yeah, so much has happened. You'll definitely see that in the videos upcoming in the next few weeks. But um, today I'm just here to update you on what's going on, as you can see by the title, with my hermit crab. As you know, I got another hermit crab back in April. Her name is Spike. I just put her in with my bonded pair, Chunk and Barry and they've gotten along so well and all of a sudden you know barry had burrowed in the dirt to molt like the hermit crabs do i usually have at least one crab molting at any given time and barry was burrowed you know for a few days it was about a week a week and a half she was burrowed wasn't worried i'm never worried when my crabs molt because they always end up just fine and then you know, she unburrowed herself, she was all cuddled up with Spike, like they do, and I picked up Barry's shell to check on her, and she was not in the shell. And so, I took everything out of the tank, I was digging around in the dirt, and I couldn't find anything. All I found was what I thought was her exoskeleton in the corner of the tank where she was. And... Um, I thought that was kind of weird because I was like, I don't know where she is, what happened. And so then I ended up concluding that she was a victim of cannibalism, thanks to Spike. What I found was not her exoskeleton, but it was actually her. Then fast forward to like, at the time you're watching this, it was yesterday. So it was the morning of September 1st. So I had accidentally left the top of the tank off, which I never do. I don't know why, but all of a sudden, I've got a bad habit of leaving the tank open. It's happened twice in the last week. Has not happened at all in the last year since I've got those hermit crabs. Has never happened. But all of a sudden, I cannot remember to keep the tank closed. And I left it off last night. Chunk got out. I found him out this morning. I did find him. He's just fine. And... I was digging around through the tank trying to find him, see if maybe he burrowed so I didn't have to hunt around the whole room for him. I took Barry's shell out while I was looking around and left it out while I was looking for Chunk. I found Chunk, went to go put him away, and there was a little hermit crab poking out of Barry's shell. And I was like, this, this is Barry. Somehow she's still here, still alive, and has been in his shell the whole time. And I did not see her. Here is a picture of the shell with her in it. She was in there. And I figured out how she was able to fit in there. It's because, I don't know what happened during that molt, but she ended up losing most of her legs and her claws. So my goal today, I bought a little container. I'm going to make a makeshift quarantine tank. I guess, for Barry to keep her separate from the other two bigger crabs and to make sure that she can get enough to eat and drink. That is my goal. So we are going to DIY this little plastic container that I have and we're going to make it suitable for a little quarantine for her. So now that you've got the backstory, let's get into it. So this is the little container that I got and then here's the lid of course and I noticed while cleaning it that it is all cracked up over here. So yeah, we're gonna see how this goes. But yeah, this is this is the little makeshift. It's just for one crab and it's just temporary until she can heal up a little bit. And it's just to make sure that she can eat and drink on her own. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get her stuff in there. Okay, so I got the container all cleaned out already. I got some holes poked into the top. I got all my supplies out. So it is now time to start putting things together. I'll start with my Eco Earth substrate. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put in some very light decorations. Got this little 
log hide for her. Got this little plant. It's supposed to be like a fish tank plant, but I'm gonna put it in here because it's about all I have right now. And then of course her food dishes. This is gonna be one of her water dishes. And then I'm gonna use these two seashells as her spare food dishes. Or her food dish and her other water dish. Which we're gonna put this water dish in the corner and we're gonna put her food dish right here. I do have some spare shells for her, but they are in the main tank, so we'll go ahead and take them out of there and put them in here. We'll fill up all the dishes and everything, make it all nice and perfect for her. So I've got her salt water in there, fresh in there, and then a little bit of food. I did a mix of these two. I've got these little river shrimp, and then I've got this hermit crab food medley. I only put the pellets in there for the time being, and there's some water in the dish as well to make the food a little bit softer for her. It might be a little easier to eat since she doesn't have those claws. So we're gonna go ahead and put her in there and um, get her used to it. Alrighty, so here is Miss Berry. As you can see, it doesn't even really look like she's in there. Um, it is a little bit heavy, so I can definitely tell she's in there. But yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and put her right in. I am going to set her inside of the food dish so that hopefully then she'll know that there's food there and hopefully she'll start eating because I'm not really sure when she ate last. Like I said, she was buried um, for over a week, so she needs to definitely eat if she can, so we'll see how things go. So yeah, for the time being, that's the update. Um, if there's anything else that happens, um, I'll definitely keep you guys posted if there's anything super important. But yeah, for now, that's the video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I can't wait to see you in a video soon.